Get it, buddy. Get it. Get it. You guys are not gonna want to miss today's video because today we're putting my tree monitors, some of the smartest lizards on the planet, up to the ultimate test. They're gonna be getting to play with a dog puzzle. Listen, whoever told you reptiles weren't as smart as canines, guess again because I'm confident that they're gonna be able to pull out their version of a dog treat out of this toy just like a dog would. So stick around if you want to see that because I'm sure you'll want to see that I proved my point and they're smarter than dogs, right? They're like green scaly dogs with long tails and really sharp nails. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion, this is Sabzi, and you're watching Reptiliatus. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do my best to post two videos a week. Monitor lizards are some of the most intelligent reptiles on our planet. And so because of this, when we choose to keep them in captivity, it's incredibly important that we give them opportunity to be mentally stimulated. Imagine living in an enclosure your whole life and nothing changes. No challenge, no test, nothing to make your brain think. Especially being an intelligent lizard, this is highly problematic and it's safe to say that this probably damages their mental health as well. We can't have that. So I make every effort to ensure that Basil and Sabzi are stimulated mentally constantly because it's really important that these lizards get to experience all sorts of senses, challenges, and more. And this will help provide the animals with a more enjoyable life. Isn't that right, Sapsy? And help ensure that I get scratched more because they have really long nails. And let me tell you, it's not the same as when they were babies. All they have to do is walk on you and you're bleeding, especially basil down there. So back in February of 2021, someone sent me some clips of their tree monitor playing with this dog puzzle. They were going through the different slots that would normally house treats for the dog to sniff around and find. And they were being given, I think it was chicken heart. This guy was actually using this puzzle to stimulate his tree monitor. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. The worst part is I screen recorded the clip, which you see above next to me. However, I didn't take down the user's name and I feel so bad because I would love to give him credit for it in this video. If by some miracle you're watching this, let me know so I can tag you in a pinned comment or something, buddy. I truly just can't find them. And I get so many DMs every single day. It's been so long. It's been well, over a year. So clearly I have no idea where they're at anymore. Alas, went to my local pet store and I ordered Sabzi and Basil one. So what we're gonna do today, unbox this, and we are going to test it out and see what they make of it. The first thing we're gonna do is offer them some sliced pieces of salmon filet in the various slots, and then we'll try some super worms in the slots and we'll see what they make of it. All right guys, so this here is the dog toy. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, have a closer look. All the different slots, riding treats, and then you have these like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start like this. I'm just a bit worried because I know he's gonna freak out from this thing, so where do I put this? Okay. This feels relatively well balanced. Let's see what he makes of it. Hey buddy. Very interesting. I think he found some fish. Basil, did you get it? Oh, he got it. Good job, buddy. Now, is there more? Keep looking around. Gotta keep checking. 
don't think there's any more in that spot. You got it already. This is clearly a reaction based solely on smell. Now he has to look. Oh! Did you find more fish? While he's over there, I also want to try this. See what happens with the Zufobus. <laughs> no way! Look at him! He's trying to get his hand in there to grab the super worm. Get it, buddy! Get it! Get it! your hand in there. Get it buddy, you got it. Like imagine what his mind is doing right now, you know? Imagine the frustration, the brain is just on fire. He's thinking, he's really thinking right now. He's like, how do I get to that worm? Okay, so he just spun that clam blocker shaped thing out. So if you can push the toy to the side, it'll fall into the hole. Is he gonna figure that out? I think he'll figure it out unintentionally. But then if he can move it again, he'll be able to get to the worm, which is pretty cool. He may have already cleared it, to be honest. This is in that far end. Oh, he did it! Guys, he did it! What a champ! He cleared it! For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, what are some ways that you think I could enrich my tree monitor's lives? I've been doing all sorts of things, right? We have the swinging yarn ball, the bird's nest, not only this, now we're doing the puzzle. Let me know some more suggestions you think would be a great option and I'll try them out. Maybe we can even do a video coming up soon in the near future. As always, I'll try to give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks so much for your suggestion. I'm sure this girl, Sabzi, also approves and appreciates it. Awesome. All right, everybody. We are here with Sabzi now. And uh, yeah, that didn't take long. She's already checking things out. Sabzi, do you sense something? Hmm? I think she does. Got some good stuff there. Nice job, girl. Isn't she amazing? She's literally a velociraptor. There's still some fish over there if you want it. She's just 
kind of checking around. There we go. Tongue is flicking. That fish is waiting for you. Well, funny enough, Sabzi's out here just kind of neglecting the puzzle now and just doing her own thing, checking out the desk and tasting different things. So I think it's safe to say that she is no longer interested. Maybe we'll put her back in her enclosure now, but it was still pretty cool. I mean, she, she certainly did do a bit of eating and, and problem solving for us. I think we would be best off trying this again in the future, but making sure that she's really hungry before we do it. I also want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank my Reptiliatus channel patrons. Your decision to help support the channel beyond your viewership and engagement by commenting on the videos means so much. That'll always be enough, but to those of you who decide you want to support the channel further, you can do so for as little as $2 a month, which will get you discounts on Reptiliatus merch. Depending on the monetary tier, you get a handwritten thank you card and more. There's sneak peeks on upcoming content, contests, and you get a shout out at the start of the next video after you join. I do also want to mention that you guys fund these sort of opportunities. Yes, I have the means to do it myself, as I should if I want to choose to bring these animals into my home, but you doing it actually contributes to that process. So thank you so much. Your funds go straight to the animals and help make things amazing around here too. So if that's something you're interested in doing, check out the link down below in the video description. And as always, thanks so much for your support. Well, everybody, there you have it. We sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's video. It's always awesome to have the opportunity to use my platform to push and encourage reptile enrichment. It's so incredibly important and these animals really deserve it. When they're in our homes and under our care, it's not just about the basics, temperature, humidity, UVB, a nice size enclosure. What happens next? How do you make their life worth living? How do you make it enjoyable? Give them something to grow from mentally, physically, etc. So with that all being said, I hope you appreciated seeing this video. I'll put some links to different puzzles down below if you want to find something you think your own monitor lizard might enjoy. I can't wait to see you guys later. If you want to see more content pertaining to this hooligan down here, check out the playlist up above. Take care, everyone. Bye.